And that was the person you saw, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more here. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you just flew out here uh, today, this morning? Okay. All right. And um, if, if you could, maybe you could just start with what you know what happened, how you came, became aware that there's a situation. The lady's right, the lady's Wednesday, right? Yes, sir. This was happened Monday. He was calling me and said, Is there something going on? What's going on? What's going on? And do, you, do you remember what, what day that was? And what was it? Monday. Monday. Uh, okay. Do you know what, approximately what time? It was this morning about the time when I got home from work. It was 6 30 my time, so I'm getting about 4 30 out there and probably some of that. Good. 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 Well, if my memory serves me right, I'm going to keep it you straight right now. <laughs> yeah, no, and it took you best to get call. Yeah. So, okay, so about that time you gave your call, I said, something's yeah. going on. Yeah. Okay, and, and what, uh, what did he tell you about that? He said, so many of the girls are missing, or gone, that's what he told me. Yeah, they're right. missing, they're, they're gone, and they don't know where they are. He said, and she left her phone, her purse, her car. He says, he has no clue what the hell she's run off with the kids or what the hell's going on with yeah. Okay. He was dumbfounded about it, more or less. And he told me the situation, what happened, that the other girl, he told me what happened that morning that they had a discussion because she already knew this was coming, that he wanted to give a separation mm -hmm. and put a house up for sale. And he said, uh, they just, the marriage just wasn't working anymore. Okay. Were you, were you aware of that prior to this phone call? Yeah. Yeah. So you knew they were married. Yeah. Yeah. They, they told me about it a couple of weeks prior to that was when he come down to. She had come down to North Carolina for six weeks, mm -hmm. and staying staying some of us, some of her parents. They her, her parents said about 30, 40 miles from us. Okay. Also, they're both there. Were they originally living in North Carolina before they moved out here to Colorado? He come up. Uh, I'm talking about Chris and uh, oh, how do I say Shan 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 and the stand moved in together out there, and then they decided to move to Colorado out there. Because okay. she had friends up here for some reason. I don't want to have them all down here, but anyway, that's what they did. And, and then, well, how old were they within that, or how long ago was that? Uh, seven, seven, eight years ago. Seven or eight? Mm -hmm. And how old is Chris? How old are you? Sure. He is, birthday is May 8, 2016. Sixteen for seventeen. My anniversary is one day. His birthday is next. Sixteen for seventeen. And it's nineteen eighty-five. It's forty-nine, thirty-three. Okay. So they met about seven or eight years ago in North Carolina, yeah. and they moved out. Do you remember when, when they moved out here? 
She was down on the puzzle scissors. She had the dates on here, whatever. 
Facebook thing, but I think it would be fine. That's okay. That's okay. That they were she was down for six weeks. Mm -hmm. When Chris came down the last week, which was I can't give you the exact dates on it. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's a sales person from Blaine. Yeah. So you know, that's her that's one of her knack is. And is that what she does for uh, Thrive? Is it, she's a sales person. She's a, she has a pyramid type thing. She has all these different people under her. Mm-hmm. And what they sell, she makes you know, money on what they sell. Gotcha. So it's a team, a team thing. And I think she was like 34 or 35 at the time. Oh, so she's pretty good at that. And I didn't actually ask this. I told him, I said, if y'all do decide to start breaking whatever, so you come back to North Carolina, or if you want to stay out here, and he said, that, the, the uh, child support out of that place, so I have to stay out there. So I can make that kind of money back there. Because it makes good money. That's all. No, I'm asking, what does she make? He said, she makes pretty much a lot of money. Well, so make money. <laughs> and I think somebody told me that so he's a supervisor for the he is, and He's coming up for a former job. Yeah. Former job. And for yeah. Anna Dark Yeah. Okay. That's what they're looking at them for now. Yeah, I know the oil money plays pretty well. Yeah. Do you know about, about what that is? What, what kind of salary? I don't know. I know. I know. I never asked them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get into that. I don't know. Yeah. Not sure. And, and I just, I'm curious because if she makes what, what he makes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not. She just started doing this last few years. Now I don't know what she made before. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's making good money like now. Do you know, um, did they have any financial problems? Was there any kind of. Uh, you know, was that was that part of the marital mm-hmm. um, strife? Mm-hmm. Not that I know of, but he said you don't know, see the reason they have to live in that big ass house they live in, so they don't need that kind. <laughs> you know, as far as them, they had, they were them two and two kids. They didn't need that more than three hundred thousand dollars house mm-hmm. sitting out there. He said sometimes we'll go, you know, making sure you make that money, to make that big house. I said, you know, it's part of life. Everybody gets to that. Sure, sure. But as far as you know, now you nothing major. No, was not, 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 he never called last week for the money. You know, he did, he did say they'd be like, hey, I'm in real bad debt. Well, he's in real bad debt. Sometimes when the, like when the CC's was born, I mean, they even paid for my wife's flight to come out here. And, you, know, you, know, you know, when she was being born and everything, they got watched after kids. And when they go on some of their Lavelle trips, sometimes he went, sometimes she he didn't. You know, there's been a lot of time to get off. My wife would come out here, and well, I'd come out here too, and watch the kids while she was gone. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. Yeah. So the norm, normal, normal, you know, normal, 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 the first matter, I have something that is a little different mm-hmm. about her. She, uh, I was telling him they had come down from the other grandkids' birthday party from Charlotte, and they had bought these Power Ranger costumes to wear. That's what was in back then. That was years ago, and they forgot the head, the head mask, the mask, the head thing. To go to them. And that morning at the party, she sent them all the way back to Charlotte. The three hour drive where we were at, back to Charlotte, three hours back to get the mask. And just to prove my point, more or less, whatever. But anyway, that was just something I said from that for us. And from my mind, I said, the mask thing, the wear 15, 20 minutes, they don't take the same thing off anyway, they start paying with kids, and then it wasn't a big deal. But, but the, uh, when she came down this last time, uh, she had stayed like three or four days with us, like first. Everything fine. I mean, everybody's getting long view, having a good time. I mean, I'm going to show you a video here of the, the grandkids with my wife and stuff. Southern Pines, 
And the wife said, I gotta get my hair now. I gotta go pick up the flowers from my neighbor. And she came by where I work at. I work at a sewer dealership. I saw the sign of paper on the car I was getting at. And she goes, I said, we're gonna take you back down or wait for that noon. So I was just waiting. She said, no, we don't lie on it. No, hey, lie on it. I said, okay, no problem. So she went and got her hair done, went and got flowers, came by my place and realized she got her phone at the hairdresser. So my daughter, she's in her hair done, she went and got up and she came back to my work and lived up in the finance office side of the paperwork. She then texted me and said, where in the hell is she at? I've been along here with you for five hours. I said, they're your kids. I went and I bought a trampoline for them, a swimming pool. There's a little book pool and stuff, and there's another TV for another one, there's a bigger TV so they can watch and everything. And I said, well, she had my wife in tears in the finance office. That's how bad she jumped in my wife's text. And I said, no person for that. And then she said, I'll be there in a minute. That's all I got my daddy coming to get. She's getting here with me. I get car seats. I was running struck. So she left mad that day. And Chris called was that night. And said, so my wife asked him, so what, what do you want to do? So some reason I came out and get along with her. He said, Mom, just, just let it go. And I said, That's the way she is sometimes. Just let it go. I said, Okay, I'll do it for you. All right, second time she came over. Oh, okay. I was like, We had, we had fun. They had all kinds of videos and pictures of them in the pool. My other two grandkids come over. Uh, it's Bella and Cece, and that's Shanann's kids. They're four and three. My other two grandkids are 10 and 7. I talked to them. That's their tattoo right there. The double D's. <laughs> Might as well get them on this side for anything when they finish having kids and laugh. But uh, they come over and Cece's got a nut allergy, which we knew about. And my wife had bought some ice cream because actually one of them had nuts in it, but we had it up on the upper shelf, which Cece couldn't get to it if she got in the freezer. And my other granddaughter, Dylan, had a little single serving ice cream cup, a little small thing, just like you buy Walmart or whatever. And was in the bottom room, and she went there and got one. Oh, grandmother. Oh, right. And Cece got up saying, because she couldn't have one, and so he said, well, I can't have that. That one's might have that, so we haven't have have checked it yet. Whatever. So you can't have it. And so then went off on her. So it's not fair that she can have one, and Mike's out and have it, and all that type of stuff. And boy, so well, maybe it's a learning experience. I mean, she did not learn sometimes she can't have everything she wants. And a few minutes later, she came down there and said, you just trying to kill my child. Mm -hmm. Screaming at my wife. And I, I wasn't there, but I said, I mean, my two of the she she's, she didn't know what they were doing. And so he said, you actually think I was trying to hurt one of your children? Mm -hmm. And she said, you just trying to kill my child. And you know, she said, well, I think you just need to go. And leave. And she said, she said well, I'm not coming back. That was the second visit for her daddy ended up coming getting her and for the rest of four or five weeks. That was the part of the second week, the next four weeks. No contact with her, the two grandkids, one of those two grandkids, they were 30 miles away. And we planned on going down to the beach with them and everything else, and they cook out at my daughter's house and everything. All that got blown out. And when we did go to the beach, we were at Motor Beach, and we were at Motor Beach, five miles apart, so didn't see them. And I said, well, yeah, okay, that's good. And one, 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 and Chris told me, he said, that when come to, he wanted, he wanted to come see us before he left, because he hadn't seen us all the week coming down there. Mm -hmm. been with them. So I went to pick them up, and at the rehab center, on a lot of staying at, and staying at all the while he left, they left them there for me to pick up. So he hung out in the house, had a couple beers, got out some steaks and stuff, my daughter came over, and my son-in-law, my other grandkids come over and stuff. And about 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I said, well, you know, I'm going to just text her just to bring her back in the morning. You know, it's too late for me when I'll back up some kind of now. He texted her, no, no, you're not. Know, just like, no, I'm going to get your ass right now. You need to stay in there. So, 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, I had to take him back to some time because she demanded that it has to be my back. She said, I need the help. 
getting stuff ready to go back on the trip. And this is the only thing I've ever done about night. What are you going to do that night that you can't do the next morning when a flight don't leave at 7 o'clock that night? The next night. <laughs> Well, so I, the question I was just going to ask mm -hmm. so when she went back to her parents' house, mm -hmm. did Chris stay with you guys? Or did he go with her back to that? No, the only time, the only time Chris was down there was uh, for the last, last, last week. Oh, so, so this was prior to that? Yeah, prior to last yeah, week. That was the last week, which um, was we said, well, we, we lost our son again because the whole time that when that last thing happened, we didn't have no contact with either one of them for, for the next, what, three, four weeks, whatever it was, until he came down. And then when he came down, did they come visit again at your house? No, 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 no she wouldn't come back. She wouldn't come back. No, she wouldn't let the kids to go out. And did Chris stay with you guys for that week? Mm -hmm. Or he, he went there? He went to stay with her parents. Okay. So that's what she wanted. Yeah. So it's, it, you think that she has a controlling personality? Very, very controlling. Okay. Otherwise, she's like a narcissist and something else she called him. <laughs> she's got to get another bill and maybe she uses them there. But that's what says she has a personality once she says it. Because as I'm saying, sometimes I'll be too bipolar, he says, I'm too from zero to 100 in two seconds. I mean, there's probably, would you say she's volatile? Or she's, she can get angry quickly? Well, I have never seen that side of her. But I haven't seen that in my life. And I said, my wife said she was screaming at her. Screaming. And then I said, uh, you kind of kill my damn child. And I said, my dad, do you actually believe that? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you see the videos of those. I don't mean, see how I see those with kids. I mean, she never did that for one kid. Okay. Did you ever see her and Chris fight? They ever yelling and screaming at each other? Or, no. I never saw that. Never saw that. Okay. And finally, visited her place time. Mean, that's the first time they've been out in North Carolina in years. Come up here and I'll let you for us come up here and all them come out here. Sure. Sure. Any any indication of violence between them? Anybody that she ever hit him? Did he ever hit her? Any kind of maybe where it got physical? I don't know if I'm the pistol all the size when he played football back when he was in the Cooley League. He was a little linebacker than him. Okay. And then, um, so when he comes and he visits, he winds up staying up with them. And you guys don't see each other for that, for that last week, but do you see Chris? This is just about last night before he left. Last night. Okay. Uh, does, he, does he come with the kids or just by himself? Just by himself. By himself. Because you want the kids come over. That's when they said they went to see my mother, which is in a rehab center, which is like seven, eight miles from my house. Mm -hmm. He you said he wanted to see us. He was with me. But he ain't got to see us all that time. He went down there. Oh, he went down there. Gotcha. Gotcha. So then do they fly back to Colorado together? Yeah. Okay. And maybe you think that's around the ninth or the tenth, something like that. Somewhere that maybe because she flew out to me. Because he, I think he had, went back to work on that Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. No, I think she flew out on Friday, if I'm mistaken. Okay. And come back, we, that Monday, uh, like one to about one, I think, when her flight came back. Okay. And then when they come back here, you think she's here for a day or two, and then she goes on that trip to Arizona? Yeah. Okay. And she didn't take the kids with her on that trip. Right. right. No, she she she'll never take the kids with her. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so, uh, so Chris, you working. Is, is there a babysitter for somebody else? Do you have been out there in the front to make her take it? Okay. Uh, like I said, she, I don't know, and she takes them there about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. He picks them up on the way home from work. So she really don't have those. <laughs> okay. So she, so he drop, uh, I'm sorry, she drops them off and then he typically mm -hmm. picks them up, picks them up on the way home. Okay. I guess probably sometimes she picks them up too, I reckon, but um, most of the time he picks them up. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's the way to routine it all the time. I just like that. Yeah. I just, that's basically how it works. <laughs> sure. And we're trying to go over every detail of everything that they do and just see what the routine is. So, mm -hmm. you know, okay. All right. So she does it. And then, um, you know what hours he works typically? At the, uh, I think he's at, you know, he goes in about 5, 5 30 in the morning. And most time, he, when we FaceTime at a, our house, it's between six, seven, so it's around five or something. He gets all my things. That's no. He's working on this. Yeah. Okay. Then from the morning, four, 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 five, 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 five,
ice top on by the time it's they eat there, that's why the kids are sitting there at home and stuff like this. And so when, when they got back and then she, from the time they got back to Colorado, mm -hmm. did you speak to him at all during that time? Or or did you speak to him that first time on Monday? What do you call him to say? I wanted over. I was down there on the telephone since then. I thought you were doing it. I was on the phone, but I thought you were on the phone. I thought you were on the phone. Yeah, it could be. Text messages, phone calls. I'm pretty sure I did because he had, he had told us before he left that baby did come over and he said, no, he said, it's not working. He said, I don't love her anymore. I'm sure it's just not there. He said, he does the kids today. But he said, he just, he was just done with her. So he, he, he knew that by the time he was about to leave to go yeah, back to her. Yeah, she knew it too. She knew it too. He was the only one who told her about it. So had they, and they had gone to me, he said, they were going up, he said, Colorado was on the 50 50 state or whatever, and as far as husband and wife, he said, and if I'm mistaken, he said that she was going to put the house on the market already. Hmm. So was it, what's the house for sale? Uh, probably he said he didn't want to go ahead and sell it. I think he said he didn't want to go ahead and get a separation from the house up for sale. Okay. And I don't know who told me that they were, well, Coach Chris said they want to take them to sell it, the house market out here anyway. Well, I don't remember who told me that, that she went ahead and put it on the market. Okay. Well, well, we can focus. I ain't got time. I like the time. Hours he works and stuff. He ain't got time to watch it. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll figure that out. You know, but, uh, so, they, so they pretty much, and so she knew too. She wanted it once as well and the separation with that. But they, I don't know, know how that was working. But that takes us, when she sent the picture of the sonogram, and that was. About the same time, Chris told her, you know, and said, you know, it ain't working. And that's when she was trying to get back in our lives. Come to make up all the she's done, I guess, over the years, whatever. I'm like, okay. I guess that was a, a reach out to us, more or less, the way I look at it, trying to make everything all hunky door now again. Maybe she was thinking maybe Chris would change his mind or something or whatever. And she was talking about it or whatever. I don't know what her point behind that was. But, uh, that's when I'm pretty sure that's where that text came from when he told him that he wanted a separation. And then what was the date on that again? The text? It was. It's not on there. It's not on there. It's not on there. It's Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the friend she went on the trip with in Arizona. Well, there she is. Well, there's a bunch of people there. Put it that way. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've spoken to her yet or not, but we're trying to speak to everybody.
several times, a bunch of times, yeah. between Monday and then, and, and then through this morning. Yeah. And actually, what, what time did you get in today? Uh, I got here at about 9.15, 9.20 when I landed at the airport. Okay. And that's when we got to call the first time, asked me to stop by here. We was on my way to the airport, on back. Okay. Did he come pick you up? I didn't have to pick you up. I wasn't going to Uber, but he texted me. Once, once, once I put my phone back off airplane mode, he texted me, said, if I know you land, I'll come pick you up. So, yeah. Because I didn't see him on the ride. How's he doing? Is he hanging in there? I knew he's hanging in there, but he just stood up, hundred questions. Well, what the hell was going on on that? He said, he is. He said, I don't know if she done something. But like I asked him, so they still build houses about there behind it, the apartments like, where he lived at. Then. Last time I came out, I had to keep building, building, building behind him there. And I said, are they still doing construction work? And he said, yeah. Hmm. He said, you don't think anything construction building snapped? Snatched her up or something. So I said, I'm just thinking about what the scenario is. I'm like, you know, that, well, that's what you got to do with me. That'd be possibility. Did, did, does he have it? Did, did, did he have any idea? Is he anything that he thought to you and saying, hey, maybe this happened? Or, you know, did, did he see anybody suspicious around the house? Did he, did he have a confrontation with anybody? Any problem with a co worker? Because I guess he's a low key guy. I'm like, yeah, well, no, I'm not going to eat very. I'm full of blood and I like me. I'm like, hey, thanks for not getting me pissed off. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, he, okay, so he's not a guy who's making the confrontation mm -hmm. just not that much. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't mention any enemies or anything, anybody who's got a beef with him or, mm -hmm. or uh, you mm -hmm. know, any reason why somebody would want to get at him or get at the family or nothing. So, no, no, reps, no, 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 okay. No problems. And from what? I'm not a You're not a thinker. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm a scribble guy. Yeah. So I just scribble all of the but I have it up here. Yeah, I remember. I think I've already, I've tried to have a pretty good memory, but I've um, been in the parts business for 30 some years, so the numbers and everything else they remember. And this is a general interview. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to get a baseline. Yeah. I, 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 any, yeah. You never know what can help. Yeah, because yeah. if everybody remembers a little something, they know. I, mean, yeah. I love that. I mean, I love the grandbabies and them. I love her too. But we got along good. You know, for a few days each time, there's something always something come up there. So like I said, she just she's all about what she wants when she wants it. And I kind of put her down and nothing like that. I just I just like her personality is. Well, and for us, it's important yeah. to know who we're dealing with. Yeah. Right? If we're looking for somebody, what they might have done, where yeah. they might have gone. Mm -hmm. Is there anything, do you think, from from your knowledge of her, do you think she's the type of person who hurt herself or hurt her children? I would say the kids, no. No. Might only come down to herself, but I don't know. But to them kids, I don't think she would. I know, I've profiled her, she's not doing a whole lot with the kids, but she loves the kids. So, Things like this, I love the kids, I like everybody who loves them. But as far as her goes up to herself, I wouldn't say yeah or nay. I mean, you never know what somebody has made. Any, any health problems? Either physical or mental? Uh, my, to my knowledge, she had, spoke about that lupus years ago, but that's all that's under control, and she had, had some, something on her spine done not too long ago. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, no, some deterioration of some uh, vertebrae or something. She had to get down too long ago. Any mental issue? You, you're aware of where we're going to psychiatrists, psychologists, mm -hmm. and uh, any kind of. I don't know. I was told about my. <laughs> <laughs> and any counseling? That you were aware of? They were two of them ever tried to get counseling to work out. Something to tell dad sometimes. I don't. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I know I don't tell my parents everything. <laughs> but, uh, and anything else you can think of that might be uh, useful? Is any, uh, any, any friends that they ever talked about? Or any, um, you know, anybody who they interact with? I mean, you know, that they, she got a bunch of friends for that way. And they would have these little parties and meetings sometimes at their house and stuff. But 
Chris would get some of his friends, some of them, I mean, so he stayed with friends of his last night, but he didn't like going back to the house, all the stuff going on over there and stuff, so he stayed with them last night. And were those, you know, those his closest friends, or who, who would be? I don't really know how, what his closest friends around here are, but I ain't really met many of them when we come down. Most of the time when we come down, we go out to the zoo and stuff like this, and all and everything else around right here, and splash pads and stuff like that. We don't met his friends that much. That much here. Did he, did he, did his Chris, because I know she's got thousands of friends on oh, Facebook already. Yeah. Does Chris have it? Is he on Facebook? Does he do that? He was. Yeah. He, he was just recently deleted. Deleted. Yeah. He's tired of hearing all the posts about language and so. Okay. And is he a social guy? Does he have a lot of friends? Or no, he is. I'm not that friendly. He has a few. I'm like, he just all day. But I like that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, they take me out as I am. <laughs> but he's not a big social media guy or, you know, friends and parties and mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, like, uh, when she was gone, you know, like you said, he went to the drag races, you know, in town, NHRA, mm -hmm. I don't know what you went to in the year. I like, mean, he's got races all the time, like when he was young and stuff. I think that star races and drag races and stuff. And he's done that in years and did that. Mm -hmm. and so I'm just I think done that in a moment. <laughs> Yeah. So he probably got some some uh, break, yeah. just being by himself. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got a couple of buddies from work and went on that drag racing on that one Saturday. I might go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was that this Saturday? No, that was that. 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 And then at the construction, I want to ask you again about that. So there's construction going on behind the house. Yeah. You kind of, can you see anybody like, mm -hmm. well, I, don't I just brought that up to him on the way back from the airport. Oh, you brought it. Okay. He, he didn't mention it. No, he didn't mention it. I mentioned that to him. I said, they're just throwing them. Like, walk around, people want to think I'm a little crew. Come and go. You got electricians over here. Plumbers over here. Water's yeah. over here. And they, uh, they work for three dollars. Poof, they're gone. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. They're gone. 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 I just, I, I, said, I just, I'm just throwing that out there. I said, I don't, I don't think about it. Whatever scenarios, what could happen? So I just, I said, I just throw that out there. I said, throw the keys in my the backyard. And I mean, there's plenty of people around there. But depending on what time they was stuff too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so nothing's, nothing suspicious though. I'm not in that area everywhere. Okay. Yeah, and obviously Chris is, you know, they're, they're, they're talking to him. You know. But we're talking, we're talking to everybody. You know, mm -hmm. you know maybe anybody's talking to suspicious. Hopefully, yeah. they'll come off. But okay. Um, but I did mention something, Chris mentioned something to me that they, uh, on the way back that there was a debit or credit thing on one of her credit cards for that same day they got back for a taxi or a limo. Mm -hmm. So she said he called the bank to them and they said transactions. And when she used a credit card for a taxi or a limo on that same day. On Monday? On Monday. Huh? Do you know what time that was? I don't know. That's what I was trying to find out. I said, you know what time it was and everything? He says, no, because it was just a transaction. He thought y'all might have been doing that already. Yeah, and it, it, it probably they might. We had so many people working on this. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I said, well, that's not a limo. All the girls took back. I think there was three girls around here. And I said, was that a limo the girl took back from the airport? You know, back home? And I said, there were three different people, three different places. And then on the, the news broadcast one day, she said, she brought she ran home. Between one and two o'clock, the one was your doctor. And who's that? Who worked with Nicole? Nicole. Nicole wrote her home. Okay. okay. That's yeah, what the main broadcast said. So, so Nicole went with her to to Arizona. Yeah. So Nicole must have parked the car or something. Yeah, yeah. but I was asked this guy said, Yeah, Nicole's car was at the airport. So I said, Well, mm -hmm. the car at the airport wasn't even a damn taxi or a limo taxi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and does he think that's what the charge was? Is that they uh, they took a taxi home from? That's what that's what he said. They, well, he did not. He didn't know what time it was. All of a sudden, a transaction for either a taxi or a limo taxi mm -hmm. for that date, but he didn't know what time it was or anything else. Okay. And they couldn't tell him if the taxi came. You know what time? I, I, I don't know. That was something for the credit card. Right. We'll we'll find out. Yeah. Just about that. Just all that for that. Everything that. I'm just trying to think about it. If they got a car and they went somewhere out, so we want to know that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And he did, did he mention anything about any neighbors or anything? Any neighbors? Because 
I'm assuming you probably talked to his neighbors. Yeah, well, anyway, well, I'm talking about that. I'm not going to have one of them, too. Yeah, well, for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, but they didn't see anything or hear anything. Uh, or not to my mind, like I said, they haven't seen nothing. But it would have been a lot of time they was. You know, they thought he was going to work and stuff and everything else. Okay. What? Okay. Anything else you can think of? Any, uh, I'm thinking. What is this? Chris, any, any, uh, does he have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah sir. Sister. Are they close at all? Or would you be reaching out? They're kind of the close to me. They, they, they talk about that here recently. That's my daughter, Amy. Jen? Okay. Yeah. She lives in Parkins, about 20 miles, 30 miles from right now. They don't count. Yeah. Just in case if we need to reach out to her. Yeah, yeah she's in uh, Good Morning America probably yesterday. Who do? Good morning, America. Uh, uh, my uh, daughter, yes, I want to know how many times James is. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> that's the thing. The news will be all over this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. on national news. Yeah, anytime somebody yeah, goes missing, it's yeah. just, yeah. Okay. And then, um, is there any relatives of yours here in Colorado? What Chris was at, there's no cousins, there's no distant relatives, mm -hmm. nothing, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, if, uh, if, uh, and I was going to say it wrong, say Shannon, but it's Shannon, 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 you know, you're used to that. Yeah. So Shannon, do you know if she has any relatives here? Not that I'm, not my knowledge, not, you know, just some, um, like, whenever it's moved out there, got some friends of hers, moved out here or something, I don't remember exactly the reason they moved out here to begin with, but, and then the person was out there, he worked at four leadership and she was working a couple jobs, hot jobs and stuff. No, they don't mess the second house. They didn't have another house before you got that one. Second house? Yeah. And if I have memory serves right now, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. And you know why they uh, they moved to Frederick? Any any particular reason? Is it close to work? Or mm -hmm. or I'm not sure how far his his um Work is from here now because when he was um, working at the Ford leadership, he was working. It wasn't just the Ford leadership out here, it was another one, uh, Longmont. Mm -hmm. Longmont, that's where you read it, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty close community. Yeah. yeah. But there was nothing special about Frederick. It wasn't like uh, yeah, yeah, they had some friend here or some mm -hmm. other relative. Like, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't think of anything else, I mean, unless, unless there's something else that pops up that you mm -hmm. think of that might be useful. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to, you know, we're, you know what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to search everything and talk to everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, and obviously, the whole country's aware of it. It's not just one of But, uh, but yeah, we'll do everything we can mm -hmm. and uh, you know, see where things lead us. Yeah. So, um, if you do think of anything else, let us know. I'm going to be so so. We're sort of a uh, joint team with okay. investigators here. We have. Uh, of course, we have PD, we have state CBI, mm -hmm. uh, FBI, so we have the mm -hmm. FBI as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole group of investigators who are working on this. Mm -hmm. And we will be until we resolve it. There's going to be an answer somewhere. <laughs> but, uh, that's it. I mean, but, yeah. well, I hate to say that my life was a lot of body discovery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. And see, uh, and see that, I said, no, you're not going to. I said, you're too much to You'll have them come a lot about these covers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a tough situation. Yeah, with mm -hmm. these things, you can't make any assumptions. Mm -hmm. You're not just got another anything. Yeah. You can yeah. just everything in black and white. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm, I got a feeling Chris will probably going to be here for a while because mm -hmm. talking to him is going to be from the day he was born. Mm -hmm. Or so it's probably going to be a long day for you. Mm -hmm. I apologize in mm -hmm. advance, mm -hmm. but we got to get every single detail we can. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we'll be at this, you know, round the clock. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what can make you most comfortable. Um, you have you, you have this vehicle. Yeah, then you have access to that if you need yeah. it. Yeah. You have yeah. nice. Okay. And then obviously, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's due to Frederick, yeah. or if you want to eat lunch, or whatever you want to do, I can walk up out the street and find something. That's what I say. I'm sure. I just want to find my high blood pressure or something. <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to heal me around? Yeah. You want me to heal me around? Move me in. I have a mark. Mark. Yeah. And that one that's the best friend right from, right from way back when. The neighbor was Mark. He's doing that now. Okay. That's okay. good. Yeah. Well, I mean, Grant here too. One of us will try to keep in touch with you. And again, we got a room full of investigators. Yeah. We have all sorts of people out on the road. Mm -hmm. You know, running down when you're speaking to people. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can imagine. Right. Nothing else. If y'all had leads, I don't know if you can't say nothing. Well, I know that. To be honest, perfectly honest with you, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know about this until mm -hmm. earlier this morning. Uh, so basically, we call in bodies. I mean, yeah. if we need to, we call in 100 more investigators. Yeah. So we call in everybody who we you know, need. So I got a phone call this morning to say, hey, come down to Prairie PD. Mm -hmm. So I'm behind the curve okay. as far as what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm talking to see where you walked in. Hey, I can talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. If we get any information, we're going to let you know. Mm -hmm. okay. You're right here, please. So, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, yeah, so just if you want to make yourself as comfortable as you can. I don't know if you can water and stuff here. Got it. Those are things you need to do. Yeah. 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 That, that would be a first. That would be a slight problem. That's not a What the hell? It's like a flat bench with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> first, yeah, I think so. I do it. Okay, so I don't know. 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 I